Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from April 1st to April 5th, 2018. Dan Foss, your ads are appearing in my videos. I support your company. We love CO2. That's the new ad campaign. I do too because it's plant food. And only weeks after David Taylor predicted Australia's heading into a record cold winter, snow. Weeks or months early, however you determine it. Super early frost being reported in the media. These images sent to me by a viewer of mine. And then in the same News article, temperatures are generally too warm for snowfall. Wait a second, it just snowed. Going back February 2nd, Queensland recorded lowest February temperatures on record. Yeah, that was just a couple months ago. In Brazil, Belo Horizonte had a month's worth of rain in nine days. And then the floods came in the middle of the month. And over to eastern Thailand, freak storms in the middle of the dry season. And Carlos Ramirez has put out his new cosmic ray count. Blizzard southwest Russia, ice drifts on the shores of the Netherlands, Arctic vortex spinning down into Europe, UK snow forecast, USA more snows on the way, golden sunsets on the frozen globe, iridescent skies, and this kind of sums up the signs all around us with the grand solar minimum intensifying. Voyager 1 spacecraft reawakens after 37 years. Despite what you've heard, global warming is not making weather more extreme, especially when we get longer term droughts and floods, wildfires. You've been told the Arctic's melting this spring. Let's look, it's at least minus 25 degrees Celsius. Confirmed by DMI's weather forecast of minus 20 along Greenland coastal areas. And how the sea ice extent is manipulated. 10 years ago, actually, the ice was less than today, so it can't be at all-time record lows. Now can it? Antarctic sea ice recovery. Sea ice growing faster than normal. Where's the news? Arctic temperatures below the normal. Where's the news? Super typhoon already in early April. Pacific Ocean spinning into nowhere. And something very unusual with the zonal winds in the Arctic Circle. They're back. Iceberg flotillas, four times the average already this early in the season. Looks to be higher than last year. Fourth extreme iceberg season in a row. Increased mobility of high Arctic ice sea, increasing marine hazards off the east coast of Newfoundland. They're talking about sea ice flux through the Nares Strait here in the blue box. Zoom in where you can see the ice arches. The conclusion, ice is going to last until June. This is extremely anomalous, and it's caused by the newly changing lows coming up into the Arctic. Today's temperatures in that same area, minus 22 degrees Celsius. And a look at the North Pole, minus 31 degrees Celsius. It's not warming anytime soon, so these icebergs are definitely not from melting glaciers.